Now, Eric Amwakwa Boadu is an artist of Ghanaian heritage who is passionate about encouraging Afro-Caribbean children to learn more about African art culture. He is currently co-director of the Creative Collective Art Gallery in Ashford, Kent. In his role there, he is supporting a new generation of artists and showcasing their paintings. I'm glad to say that he's here in the studio to talk more about this. Eric, thank you for joining us here. Welcome, Amy. So let's touch up upon exactly what this work is of the children you're trying to encourage to know more about African art culture at your gallery. Tell right. us more about the exhibition. Over the last 10 years, African art has been on the rise, where it's been recognized internationally as the next big thing. And having been very passionate about art from a very young age, I took it upon myself to an eco director to set up this gallery in Ashford, Kent. And what we normally do is we have programs running and one that we are looking at actually doing for this October is children focusing on the Black History Month. So I've got a lot of Afri Afro-Caribbeans coming in to showcase their talent and we also teach them how to paint and draw. And, and what sort of, what can we see in terms of the work? Uh, do we see, I don't know, people walking around the streets of London or <laughs> something that's captured them from their countries of heritage, maybe somewhere in Africa or the Caribbean? That's right. What can we expect? So basically, Africans have got a story to tell, mm -hmm. and I do encourage kids to focus on the stories of Africa because we've got a very rich cultural her heritage. So what we would encourage the children to paint is what Africa is all about in terms of our music, our dancing, our vibrant colors, our clothing, and, and the likes, really. And why did you take it upon yourself to really get to, I guess, encourage or educate children about African art culture? Right, so from a very young age, maybe, um, I've always been interested in art, and it's a passion that I've followed all the way through Mm -hmm. But as you know, with African parents, um, <laughs> sometimes you are encouraged to pursue a certain profession. As you did um, with engineering did, at first, as right? As I did with <laughs> engineering. <laughs> yeah. And um, I realized that your passion will always be there and would, let's say, haunt you. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. So, yes. So I have actually pursued this passion of mine. Mm -hmm. And I see it wise to encourage the young generation to also pursue it because most of the times the excuse has been that there's no money when you go into art and all that. But as I said, African art has been on the rise and it's a form of investment for collectors now and therefore people pay a lot of money just to acquire some of the African art. Of course, uh, you've mentioned a few times that African art is on the rise. Why is there all of a sudden all this focus on African art? Um, in times past, African art has been seen as a non-academic type of art. But these days, they've realized that, you know, it's something new. We actually paint from, from our spirit. We're quite bold in the colors that we put out there. And we tell stories with it. Africans have got, as I said, a rich history, cultural history. And we portray that through, in, through our artworks. So you that's why investors are actually paying attention to what we do now. And you've talked about your passion for art. You were born in London, but you moved to Ghana, That's where correct. you grew up um, with your parents. We do have samples of your work right over there that the viewers can see. As you've touched upon, there's a lot of color in African art. That's right. Would you say that's reflective as well in your work? Yes, my work predominantly is um, done in acrylics, and I use palette knife that gives me a very good 3D impasto effect. Mm -hmm. And I am quite exuberant in the showcase of my colors. Yeah. And as you, can, you saw earlier on, on the screen, um, this is talking about abundance in Africa. Mm -hmm. So the two pieces are about women carrying water. And water is just um, a symbol for abundance, mm -hmm. where there's, there's lots of natural resources in Africa and the abundance of it, which we have to tap into. So I showcase that, yes, we've got it. Let's, let's actually fetch from it and, and, and use it. And your work predominantly focuses, um, of course, some way in Africa, but also about the environment, as you've touched upon, water and man's, I guess, in relation or situated with the environment. Yes. So I'm quite observant. As an artist, you need to be actually observant. And my work normally focuses on the relationship that man has with his environment. Because many a times we are so busy pursuing career and other objectives 
and we fail to realize the beauty that's all around us. And Africa in particular has got some really good scenery that if we paid attention to, um, we would really enjoy it. So I focus on that in my artwork. And have you seen through your work and even at your art gallery and with the children, have you seen a growth in children being more interested in, in African art culture and as you said, pursuing their passion and maybe as for you, family might not, they might not have the backing of their families. Yes, um, children always do what they see. So when they come to this gallery and we're quite open-minded and we show them the possibilities, they open up and um, paint from their hearts and we show them what's out there. There's an example of a Ghanaian artist called El, El Anachui and he's been quite famous in selling their work for more than about 500 million pounds. So, sorry, 500,000 pounds, I correct myself. But no, he, he's actually made it possible for children to know that, yes, there's money in art as well. As we can see, all the beautiful paintings that we'll be putting up on screen that you have done. Really quickly, you've also been recognized at the prestigious Pintar Rapido and, of course, Sachi Online, which is globally recognized for the work that you've done. Quickly, what did that mean for you? Thank you. It really showed that, yes, it's possible. Um, you shouldn't be out there. Technology has made it so possible for us to put our work out there and therefore it's good that people actually showcase their work using media. And Eric, quickly, if anybody wants to know more about um, exhibiting their work at, at your gallery, can you give us a bit more of a website quickly that people so can go to? So thecreativecollective.org is our art gallery and um, the website, as I said, www.thecreativecollective.org is the place to see more artwork. Thank you so much, Eric, for joining us. You're welcome, Amy. Now, here's a look at today's headlines. The U.S. Embassy in Kenya was closed to the public following Thursday's shooting. Nigeria to give $10 billion to tackle insurgency in Old Ridge South. And Ivorns go to the polls on Sunday to vote on a new constitution. That's it for Vox News Bulletin. Don't forget you can join us throughout the weekend for all the latest headlines. See you then.